Okay, hello everybody, this is D. Hicks. Today we're going to be talking about MicroDroid. It's an automation app that is similar to Tasker, but easier to use. I'm going to do a, a quick how-to. Uh, I'm going to make a, a how home profile. The home pro profile will be location based. I'm going to try to do some of these videos on MicroDroid on how to make different profiles in the upcoming weeks. Okay. First off, we're going to go into add MicroDroid. Alright. We're going to find location trigger. Okay, we're going to click on location trigger. Area entered. Press OK. And if it's not in the area where you are, you just hit that little GPS icon and it'll scan where you are. Once you're satisfied where you are, you just uh, tap on the screen. Let me tap that icon, then tap on the screen. That's your location. If you're satisfied with that, you hit the check mark. Now you're going into the uh, actions area where you add action. I want to change the sound. Here's the sound volume change. You select that. Whatever uh, category you want the volume to change. There's alarm. I want that to still be active. Music. You have, can change it to any level you want. Notification. And ringer. And press OK. Also want to have a notica notification in the bar, notification bar. What I'll do is scroll up and try to find uh, find this display dialog. I don't want to use this version, but I want to use display notification. All right, you can set a notification icon if you want. I'll change it. You scroll through icons to find the one you want. I found one look like a home. Just click home. And I'll type up here what I name it. I'll give it a catchy name, the crib. I'll just call it the crib. Then I may want to put underneath there, home sweet home. Okay. And if I wanted to override an existing notification, I can. I just check that. And press OK. All right. If there's anything else you want to add, you can feel free to add something else if you want to. But I'm satisfied with what I've got. Now you hit the check mark. You can put a constraint on it if you want to. Of when you want this to operate, or different things you have to play with it to uh, to find the exact one you want. But I'm not going to use no constraint. Now I'll give it a uh, name. Since I already have a home profile uh, made, I'm just going to put it as home 2 so it won't confuse. Okay, then you put in the category. 
if you have a category I created a work and home uh, category that's where I select that then I press OK and it is created This here, uh, let's see if we can find it in the listener. Here's home two. It's created. To this, I'm gonna test it out. It'll work when you move in and out of location in that area. When you drive into the area, it'll change to that profile. But I'm gonna test you to test it to show it in the notification. Okay, you've just seen it with the crib. There's the notification in the bar. It has showed us notification when you uh, reach uh, home, when you come home, it'll change automatically once it uh, get into the location area. But you gotta remember, you gotta use your GPS, have your GPS active in high accuracy. I know in some cases it, it eats battery but if you want to use the location based profile you have to have that activated. This has been a quick tutorial on a microdroid for home profile. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for other how to's in the near future. If you like this video press like if you'd like to subscribe for more videos like this, just press subscribe and you keep track of the uh, latest videos that is out. Thank you.